Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse was recently released, and I tell you, it was the best movie of its time. No doubt about that. Of course, I won't give any spoilers of the movie, because I know deep down I wouldn't like it if someone did it to me. But this video isn't about this. Mm, but this video isn't about the movie. It is about the scene of predictions that can possibly happen in the immediate future. He is one of the best miniverses to be released by LEGO, and to this day, I still own my Mo Miles Morales from the Daily Bugle. But this looks amazing. I love the new suit and the prints on both arms and legs. You can really tell that if we were given a Miles Morales CMF minifigure, this would definitely look like him. Now our next one is Spider-Gwen. There's been a couple versions of her from LEGO, so nothing about this version would be different compared to the others. But of course the CMF collection isn't proper without a spider plane. One of the best villains in this movie was the spot, and I would be destroyed if we can get this min minifigure in the CMF collection, just because of the way he looks and how awesome he is. He was definitely one of the one of the main villains in the sh in the uh, movie, and I would be tore down if we didn't get the main villain in the movie. Now our next one is Peter B. Parker. Now he would have a robe instead of the costume just because there's already so many Spider-Mans in the CMF wearing costumes, and I think it would be a good way to switch it up. Cause like if you have like like all these Spider-Mans, you don't have anything different, then I think like this repetitive would definitely get boring after a while. So definitely a switch up would be awesome. So having Peter B. Parker in his um, robe with his um, child would be amazing. Of course, um, this character will include his daughter as an extra fig and a little carrier over Peter's torso. And um, I, I definitely like, I would definitely like to switch up because this is something they um, they definitely, uh, LEGO has definitely did in a LEGO Batman CMF where they have had LEGO Batman in his um, casual outfit instead of his uh, Batman suit, which I thought was pretty cool. This is definitely something like that. Our next one, we have we, well, we have gotten numerous spider women from Lego, but I believe this one would be the best of the best just because of how different it is compared to the other ones. Um, Jefferson Davis would be a great mini figure for this series just because of him being Miles' dad and all. Like his storyline and how he played in every single movie up to this one was just beautiful. Definitely something I would love to have in a CMF and something that is needed in a CMF. The details and the pieces with this figure are just amazing and is definitely deserved in the set or just by itself. I, I honestly feel like that if we had him in a set and not in a CMF, that's cool too because I think a set would just also, also be cool. I would love to have him in a set with him and his uncle maybe. But we'll see. Scarlet Spider would be amazing just because of how accurate it is to the comics. When getting the Daily Bugle, all the figures in the set, uh, all the figures in the set were comic characters that made it a hundred times better than any other set we've been given by Lego. As you can tell, getting Mysterio, getting the comic Mysterio, getting the comic uh, Doctor Octopus, getting the comic Green Goblin, getting the comic comic Spider Man, all of those were just amazing. And I mean, yeah, they weren't accurate to like the actual Daily Bugle movie. Or it wasn't the movie, but ac the actual Daily Bugle in the Spider-Man movies. But still, it was still pretty cool because I liked how like accurate they were to the comics. So this would definitely be something like that, and a whole lot better. Now, out of all the minifigures we've gotten, I believe this minifigure is the best minifigure out of all of them, just because of the way he looks. It definitely makes him unique to all the different Spider-Mans. And believe me, when it comes to getting all the Spider-Man characters. There's no doubt that LEGO will make a profit off these characters. Um, Spider-Man India is an interesting Spider-Man, something I couldn't get behind but was still a, still a beautiful character throughout the movie. Now, we have gone like characters like Spider-Ham as a minifigure, and I think it would only be fair if we get Spider-Rex with the Spider-Cat. Of course, there can be 
Of course there can be some fixes with this figure, but overall still really nice. Cyborg Spider-Woman would definitely be a hard character to make into LEGO unless LEGO took the easy way out. But this character would definitely go up in value like the Hulk from Door Ragnarok just because of how amazing detailed it is and all the little pieces that make it like that make it really cool. So overall, it, it mostly depends if LEGO will take the easy way out or if they'll actually create something really beautiful. But who knows? Now what I love about this minifigure is the amount of detail that went into this character. Spider-Man 2099 was perfectly played by Oscar Isaac, so of course this would have to be added. But more or less, if it was made by LEGO, they would have to perfectly make him without messing up. And I tell you, when it comes to making LEGO minifigures, LEGO sometimes makes a real... they, they sometimes make big mistakes. And th those big mistakes can definitely ruin the outcome of beautiful characters. So I'm, I'm hoping that they don't mess this up. Now this is the Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse CMF predictions. Huge shout out to Brick Taco. That man made these characters possible. If it wasn't for him, these characters would not be possible. And if you ever want to do a collab in the future, hit me up, man. I am definitely down to do collaborations with anybody. I'm honestly trying to find people to do collaborations with, so hit me up if you want to. But um, as we as we get closer to the end, don't forget to sub, like, comment, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.